I am surrounded by the cutest but also most enormous mountain of homeware that you've ever seen. I mean there's actually a tree here. Hey guys welcome back to my channel I hope you're all doing really well. Something I have not done on my channel for absolutely ages or maybe ever I actually don't know if I've ever done this before, is a dedicated homeware haul, which is kind of weird because if there's one thing that I love buying in this world, it is things for my house. I can't stop, it's an actual addiction, it's kind of becoming a problem. As soon as we moved into this flat back in September, I think it was, so we've been here for what, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Wow, we've been here for seven months, that's crazy. But the thing is, when you come to move house or you move in with someone new for the first time or you just decide to like give your house a bit of a makeover, kitting the place out can be seriously expensive. And yes, you can kind of like scrimp and save and do the bare minimum and just kind of make it livable. But I think like home decor and like home inspiration, interiors inspiration is one of those things that we see so much of on like Instagram and blogs and even YouTube that you can't help but want your home to look like all of their homes too, even if you are on the most ridiculously tight budget of all time and your bank balance doesn't necessarily agree with that. Literally me. But seeing as I am finally really happy with the way things are looking in our house, I figured it would be a good time to kind of round up a whole load of my favourite purchases that we have made since moving in together, show you a few of my favourite things that we've picked up recently, a few of the finishing touches that we have, um, and also kind of keep it to a budget and just do like a really affordable homeware haul. So if that sounds like something that is going to be up your street, keeping your home looking kind of Instagrammy, I mean as Instagrammable as I ever get, which isn't very, keeping that whole Instagram Pinterest vibe working for you while you're on a very tight budget, then you should just keep on watching. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it while you're having a watch. And I'm going to get stuck in with this mad mountain of things that I'm surrounded by because I have a lot to show you. Right, so plot twist before I get stuck in with all of this. Everything that I'm about to show you in this homeware haul today is from one of my favourite affordable high street shops, Wilco. While I was at uni and all that kind of time, Wilco wasn't really somewhere that I thought to look for homeware, which is kind of annoying because I could have made my uni houses so much nicer than they were. I didn't realise all the huge ranges they have to offer for literally the whole house. I didn't realise how on trend it was, more importantly, and I also didn't realise how budget friendly it was, but it is all of those things. So I think I'm going to start with kitchenware stuff because some of my favourite stuff that we picked up from Wilco this time has been for the kitchen. One thing that we've really needed to do since we moved was like replace all our old like scabby utensils that we've had in like studio houses, shared accommodation, that kind of thing. Um, so we picked up the full set in this cute little copper shade. We've got a slotted spoon, love a slotted spoon, um, a turner, I'd call it a spatula. We've got this enormous spoon, which is my kind of portion size. These were super duper affordable. I think these were maybe like three or four pounds each, um, but I'm going to write the price for everything that I talk about in the description box and try and link it if I can so that you can check it out. I love that these are all matching. I think it makes the kitchen look so much more put together and minimal. So really pleased with these. I think they're really chic actually. Well, as, as chic as a potato masher can ever be anyway. From that copper range, we also picked up a utensil holder and then sticking to the copper hype, I I also picked up this matching dish drainer because life's too short to not have a pretty dish drainer. Maybe my favourite thing that we've got for the kitchen though. I'm so excited about this. I don't know whether that makes me a grandma or officially middle-aged or what, but I don't care. This is a standing cake mixer. Oh, look how nice it is. So this is just the copper effect stand mixer. The high-end version of these are unbelievably expensive. They cost hundreds and hundreds of pounds. And for the amount of times in the year that I actually bother to make a few fairy cakes, it's probably not worth the investment. So I was so happy when I saw that Wilco do a vaguely affordable, not gonna cost your entire mortgage version. Perfect for making homemade sauces, dips, mashed potato. You've literally just listed all my favourite things. So I absolutely cannot wait to whip up a little Victoria sponge in this. See you on the Bake Off. The other bits that we grabbed for the kitchen might be kind of boring if you don't get excited about this kind of stuff, but I do, so let me live, okay? So we picked up this gorgeous little oven dish, which I absolutely love. It's so heavy, feels such good quality, but I just think this looks so much more expensive than it actually was, so really happy with that. And then because we love this so much, we also grabbed the matching little casserole dish as well. I'm not sure why I find this so adorable, but I actually think it's really cute. Um, I think it's a nice little compact size for when you're cooking for just the two of you, if you live with your significant other. 
and I just love the fact that they're so matchy matchy. I think this will make the kitchen look so cute. We grabbed a brand new chopping board. We love a wooden chopping board. This one's still got um, the cellophane on, so it's not actually this shiny. There's not a lot I can say about this really, is there? It's a nice wooden chopping board. And I actually think that they look really nice when you kind of like stand them up against the tiles. Is that just me? Okay. I feel like this was a bit of a rogue purchase, but I'm weirdly excited about it. Um, I bought a, a Grow Your Own Herbs kit. Uh, so we're going to have a lovely supply of basil, chive and parsley all year round. The only issue with this is that I am the most un-green fingered person to have ever walked the earth. I pretty much instantly kill anything that grows. So the odds of my basil, chive and parsley actually making it into a meal are fairly slim. But I really like the idea of growing my own herbs. Seems very wholesome. Speaking of never being able to keep any plants alive, uh, one of the great discoveries that I made at Wilco's was their plant section, but more importantly, their fake plant section, because even I can't kill fake plants. I'm really into like filling every room with loads of greenery as much as possible. Uh, kind of looks a little bit like we live in the jungle at some point. This is gonna be super hard to show you. I'm not sure why I'm even bothering. Ta da Remember when Sunita just wore giant leaves? This reminds me of that. So I've seen them pretty much everywhere. I knew I wanted like a really tall, slim, uh, leafy kind of tree with these kind of skinny little leaves on them. So as soon as I spotted this one for such a reasonable price, I thought, let's give it a go and see what it looks like in the living room. I literally get a ton of messages every single time I put this tree online asking where we got it from. People have also asked like if it's hard to care for, how the cat gets on with it, and every time I have to just be like, I wish I was clever enough to have the real version, but this is very much made of plastic. And the other artificial plant that I picked up let me just get that one. So this is slightly easier for me to show you. I feel like it's looking a little bit shiny because of the lights in front of me, but I promise without the big studio lights on, this looks like the real deal. So this is an artificial cheese plant and it's called a cheese plant, I guess, because of the holes in the leaves. You learn something new every day on this channel. And that is my cheese plant. So if any of you, like me, dream of having that beautiful interiors goals home full of amazing greenery but could not keep a cactus alive then i really recommend checking out the artificial versions because they look great if you have watched any kind of haul on my channel ever before um you will know that i cannot resist a cushion and this time was definitely no exception so i picked up this really big quite oversized actually um, grey version and then to go alongside that I also got this cute little pale pink rectangle version. I know they're very simple and they're not exactly the most exciting cushions in the world but I love like velvet effect cushions. They feel so nice. They feel great quality, they feel absolutely gorgeous, they feel like something that you pick up from somewhere really swanky like Oliver Bonus or somewhere like that. Also went a little bit crazy in the throw department. Um, they had a lovely selection of throws and I could have picked up maybe like 10 different ones but I tried to keep it fairly restrained and instead I just went for two. I picked up this lovely little neutral one. Uh, this is just the Wilco's throw keep cozy and warm. And I just really liked the colours of this. I thought it was really neutral, really minimal, um, and I thought it would look nice just chucked over the couch or something like that. And I love these little tassels at the bottom too. I've got a real thing about layering up the couch. I don't know why that is. I feel like it just feels so cozy and snuggly when you've got the couch, then a whole load of cushions, and then maybe one throw in one direction with another throw like over the top of that one. It just makes you wanna like snuggle down into it, lie horizontally, not move for the next 10 years which is my favourite thing to do. The second one was this big chunky knit, which, oh, the dream. This is one of the Wilco's ultra soft throws. Uh, it's got a really gorgeous cable knit to it. It feels such lovely quality. And I really like this kind of like dark, intense, smoky gray color. When it comes to our bed, I'm thinking all white bedding, which I'll get to in a minute, um, gray, pink, little bit of pattern in the cushions, and then this thrown over the top, maybe with another slightly lighter gray throw. Oh, mwah. The only thing that makes me sad about this is that I know the cat is gonna really, really enjoy it. Anyone else with a cat just have to regularly sacrifice lovely soft things to their cat because the cat rules the house. Same. I feel like this thing is kind of random, so I'm gonna try and do a little demonstration. Okay, so look, copper plate, nice little mottled detail on the edge, sitting on maybe the coffee table, the TV stand, the dining room table? I don't know yet. But anyway, here's my nice plate. And then I thought, cream candle, smaller cream candle, and another little candle. 
and I just think that looks really nice. Well, it would do if they were in the middle. Honestly, with these kind of interior skills, it's a wonder they haven't brought back changing rooms yet, just for me. <laughs> Move over, Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. I've got the same hair, basically. These were super cheap as well. I think these were maybe like a pound, one pound fifty, which for candles these size is an absolute bargain. So really chuffed with that. Can't wait to find a little home for it. I actually went a bit candle mad, to be honest, because I also picked up this one, which comes in a little marble jar, which I really like. I don't think this one's scented, so I think maybe it's more of like a decorative one. <laughs> That'll be the plate. Uh, as I was saying before my eardrums were burst, um, I think this is more like a decorative one. So I've got my eye on this for sitting on my office desk. This is probably a little bit unseasonal, maybe more of a Christmas thing. But if there's a scent I love, it's gingerbread. If you've ever made gingerbread, the smell of the dough, it's this. It smells unbelievable. So it just goes to show you that you don't need to spend a fortune on candles to have a really nice one. I think this might be my favourite one of all time, actually. I also grabbed this because we really needed a vase. I'm not sure whether this is supposed to be a vase or just like some kind of decorative jar. Oh, it says Wilco Gold Metallic Bottles. I really like the like gold, like flecked detail over it and then this little bit of like string detail here. I think that's really cool, actually. It does actually say on the label that it's only for use with dried flowers, so no water. Uh, but that worked quite well because guess what else I picked up? Some little fake flowers. I feel like there's kind of a rule on the internet that you can't consider yourself a blogger or a vlogger unless you have peonies. But can this girl afford to buy weekly peonies? No, no. Fake peonies. They look like, they look pretty good, I think. Something that I was so excited about buying and I absolutely cannot wait to have filmed this video because I've been saving this in its packet before I use it so that it looks nice for the video and I was so excited to finally have it to use. Um, we bought a new bed set. This is from the Wilco Best range, which is like top quality stuff, slightly more expensive, still super affordable. This is 100% Egyptian cotton duvet set, so really nice stuff. Uh, it's king size for our bed, luxuriously soft and smooth, quick drying, woven from exceptionally fine yarns with a 300 thread count. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like something my mum would give a thumbs up to. And we all know that there's literally nothing better than fresh sheets. So very excited to create my dream bed setup with all this new stuff this evening. Um, also from the Wilco Best range, we each got a whole new set of towels. These are Egyptian cotton bath towels, 100% Egyptian cotton pile, quick drying, deeper pile for super absorbency, luxuriously soft and thick. And they actually are, they feel so nice. There was a full range of these available, which was so handy because it meant that we could each pick up. I think in the end we got a hand towel, a bath towel, and then a bath sheet, which are like the absolutely enormous ones. And then you wrap yourself up and you're like, Mmm, snuggly. So I got my trio in just like really simple plain white and then slightly more manly uh, we got the grey versions for Adam just so that when they're like hanging over the towel rack we don't pick up each other's because ew boys. And they've also made our bathroom look about 10 million times more presentable than it did before because we both brought such different towels with us. I think I had a pink one, a purple one and a, a little mermaid one. Next up, who knew because I didn't know, that Wilco did such nice stationery. As soon as I spot a shelf full of notepads, I can't resist having a look. Even if I'm there to buy bath towels and grow your own parsley sets, I still need to see the notepads. And I couldn't resist just picking up a few of the matching bits. So I got this A4 spiral bound notepad, the matching little gold pen pot, which is perfect to sit on my office desk. I got the little jar of paper clips, which I thought was really cute. And then I also grabbed two sets of these giant gold binder clips. I had my eye on some to go with my um, wire notice board thing, just to kind of like hang up postcards and stuff. Another enormous purchase that is really hard to show you. Uh, no, this is not a tiny sheep. This is a rug. I wanted a rug to put in our office, which is where I film my videos. And um, because we have all wooden floors throughout, it looks really nice, but it can get a little bit chilly. So I just thought filling the space up here with a little kind of sheepskin effect kind of rug would look quite nice with our wooden floors, wooden furniture, cream walls, plants everywhere. So we grabbed this one. This is the Wilco Super Soft Rug. Apparently it's wonderfully welcoming, and I would agree. This was literally a couple of quid. I could not believe how cheap this was because rugs are super expensive. Um, but it's just like a rectangle shape and fits perfectly around my desk chair and just stops me having like freezing cold toes when I'm sat at my desk for hours on end. 
So really like this one. This was one of the biggest bargains of the whole bunch actually, I think. But if you watched my moving vlogs a long time ago now, seven months, you might remember that our living room has one bright red wall which is the bane of my life. I don't understand why it's there, why it happened. It's so like dominating of the room. We've just about managed to make it look okay. We've now got the dining table in front of it, which covers half of it. We've got a clock on the wall, which is a little bit of a distraction. So I don't hate it as much as I did. Adam kind of come around to the idea. Adam loves the red wall now. Um, but when I saw that Wilco did this, I was like, oh, well, let's give it a go. Let's see how it goes. So I picked up a roll of this. And I'm very intrigued to give it a go. So this is super fresco easy wallpaper. Apparently easy to hang, super easy, easy peasiness wallpaper. <laughs> but the pattern on this is just this kind of really cool, little bit retro, geometric, I don't know, what would you call it? Like a fan shape, I guess? The main reason I wanted to show you this was that I just thought it was interesting that as well as kind of all this homeware stuff, it's such a huge selection of things, but it's also a great place to go if you're on a little bit of a DIY kind of job. Electrics, decor, like shelving, all that kind of stuff, all like the practical side of things, they've also got you covered for that too, which is great. And last, but by no means least, because I feel like it's a very important part of the house, um, I bought us a new doormat. So just imagine that I am now letting you out of the house after showing you all of this and you've arrived at the doormat. So I went for this one, just a very plain, kind of floral, just like a little bit of a pattern design, I think. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but great for keeping the floors clean. Um, and the one that we have at the moment belongs to the landlord and it's in the shape of a butterfly. And I just really hate it. So anything's better than that. I'm very excited to replace it with this. Oh my goodness. And that is everything. That is my whole lot of affordable homeware that I'm showing you today. <laughs> it looks like someone has turned my house upside down right now. I'm surrounded by rugs and throws and cushions and enormous trees. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Well done for making it through all that because that was a lot of stuff. Massive thank you to Wilco for sponsoring this video. Already one of my favorite places to go for affordable homeware stuff. So I was super excited when they got in touch. And you guys know that I never promote anything unless I really believe in it and I'm a big fan of it. Um, but I feel like the stuff speaks for itself anyway because it's just so nice. So you don't even need me to tell you that. Let's have a chat in the comments down below as well. I always like to hear what you guys think. So drop a comment. Let me know what your favorite thing was that I picked up this time. Are you gonna be checking out any of it for yourself? Are you gonna head over to Wilco and have a little bit of a shopping spree for your own home. I wanna know what you're gonna buy, so let's have a chat down below. Don't forget you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, both at Lucy Jane Wood. Instagram especially if you're into homeware stuff, because that's where I tend to put a little bit more insight into all our decor and that kind of stuff. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye! Mwah.